Today I'm going to share with you how to make a puzzle book. The first thing I want you to do is to go onto your Kindle Direct Publishing account. Now, if you haven't made an account yet, I do show you how to do that in previous videos. But if you have made your account already, I just want you to go to your Kindle Direct Publishing account and go on to Tools and Resources. Now, in this topic here, I want you to type in template. We're going to create some puzzles um, that we're going to make very, either very cheaply or completely for free. But first of all, we need to have a template. I found the best size to make a puzzle book is this 7.5 by 9.25. It's not too big, but it's not too small either. So now we've made a template. This is giving us the correct size for our book, and this will incorporate the margins and so on. So what you need to do is you probably want to insert some blank pages. OK, and then you'll see if you were to type on this side of the page. Here. You'll see that the margins here look different to the margins on this side, and that is because this template takes into account the margins and will format your book completely correctly. So this is where I would always be putting my puzzles into an actual template that I have downloaded off the KDP website. OK, so don't just do it into any document. I would always do it, first of all, into the template. The next thing that I always try to do when I've got my template is I make sure that I've got some page numbers on here. And this is just to help me when I'm creating the book. Now, to insert page numbers is fairly simple. You just go along to the top here, insert, we go along to page numbers and we'll just put it at the bottom of the page. I'm going to just select the plain one. So at the moment, that's just going to do it on every even page. And then we just do the same thing on every odd page. I'm not quite sure why it does that, but you can just do it as well on the odd pages. So we're going to do exactly the same on the odd pages. So that will have now at the bottom of each page your page number so that's going to be important when you're putting in your answers into the book now you'll see here that these are still coming up for some reason this looks a bit odd now just to get out of that view you just press the escape button okay so now you have page numbers and every time you insert some more pages those will come up at the bottom okay so it's nicely in order so you can have your easy contents and it can clearly show where your puzzles and your answers are all from. Okay. Now I used a couple of different programs when I was creating my puzzle books. So um, if you were to look on puzzle generators, you'll be able to find lots of them. So you might have heard of a few of these ones. There's things like puzzle.org. But unfortunately, they either have pricing and so on for if you wanted to make it commercial or they're more like educational ones like this one, Discovery Education. Now, they won't let you do any of these puzzles and use them commercially because these are for teaching purposes. So, yeah, they're great for making puzzles, but you're not allowed to use them commercially. So please don't get caught up in that. You must have a commercial license to recopy these. So the best way of doing that is by going on to a couple of different ones that I've used. So we've got Creative Fabrica. One of the nice things about Creative Fabrica is that you can have a bit of a trial. So you can download 10 free products with a risk free trial. So you can just go and do that and not risk anything. So there is plenty on Creative Fabrica as well that is completely free. So if you look at the freebie resources, these things here, there's fonts, there's images and so on that are all completely free. And these change on a regular basis. So even if you don't want to pay the subscription, cost you could get all of these files and be allowed to use it for commercial purposes completely for free so it is well worth having a look on there if you haven't already but with regards to puzzles i'm just going to look on one called sudoku i'm going to have a little look at the very top one all we have to do here is download this we're allowed to have it commercial and full pod use just print on demand is what pod stands for so we've downloaded that. We just need to open the file and you'll see it's nice and easy. It's got some books here. So all I need to do with these, click on that one, control C, 
for copy. I'm going to transport it across to page three on here. Okay, now we can crop this image by selecting it, pressing the right click. If we don't want that to say puzzle one there, we can just remove that part by cropping that image. Easy. And then we're going to go along and we're going to put some answers across at the back here. You can literally build up your puzzle book by selecting different puzzles from Creative Fabrica and uploading them directly into a template like this. The reason I would do that by picking and choosing rather than just uploading this entire file, which you can do. So you could just put a cover on this and you can upload that to KDP. But the only concern that I have with that is that other people might be doing the same thing. And if they are, you're going to get somewhere a copyright breach. So that's why it's really important to just choose your own puzzles that you want to put in there. So I would just pick every other, every third puzzle, something like that, just to make it different from other people so that no one is going to have an identical book to you. So the next one I want to show you is this one. It's called wordmint.com and it's not free, but it is just £7.99 and that's for your whole life of use. So you never have to pay that again. It's very simple to create the puzzle. So you just to go on to here, create new, and you can either choose between word searches, crosswords, scrambles, matching sheets, worksheets, and so on. The main ones that you're going to want to use is word searches. So they're very easy to create. We just click on here, you can come up with a title. And all you have to do is put in the words that you want. So you could put in KDP, enter, Amazon, enter, and it will create you a word search. You can choose the layout, so you can have different word sizes. So you could just have a 10 by 10 if you wanted it to be a bold print one. We can change the fonts here, so we could go for a different font completely. So whatever suits your style of book that you're doing. If you don't like how those images are, you can always shuffle them around. So you can have it whichever way you like it. You can also sort these in alphabetical order, these answers. So this is really easy. You can just export this. So you can save it as a Microsoft Word document. I always save the student copy and then the answer copy differently. So all we do then is we open that file. We copy and paste it. Control C again. And we can put this into this document. A very simple program to use. And this gives you the commercial rights to use any crossword or any word search that you have created yourself and use it commercially to sell on. So if we look at the answer key, we just open that. And we can again just copy and paste this, these answers. Now, if you were doing a kid's book, for example, that's very easy as well. So we could add it, images onto it. So we can choose different images that it comes with and we can add little things like this on it. And that's all allowed to be done commercially and put into your KDP book and published as is. If I just show you a couple of the ones that I've done in the past, so we've got like, this is one of the ones that I would have done. I've come up with some precious gemstones and I've done word scrambles. These seem to be quite popular in the puzzle niche. And again, we just save it as a Microsoft Word document and we can copy that whole thing across to our template here. If you struggle to think of different things that you can include in your word searches and so on, quite easy to do. So here we've got something like dog breeds, for example, we can just go, go and search list generator. You want to pick this one, random lists. And I just go on to the random things. So for example, it might be random things, but we could also try say flowers, for example. So this will come up with a few flowers. You can increase the quantity of what you want rerun that and that will come up with 20 different flowers for you so it's really easy to create this sort of thing without thinking too much 
Now the next puzzle generator that I want to show you is completely free. If you're finding this video useful, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. It really helps me to make more videos that you as the viewers need. So if I know what you like, so please do. Now this one is called IamToolbox.com. I'll put all the links in the description. Now this is one that I really like for, for example, the Sudoku generator. But one of the ones that I don't like on it is the word search generator. I really would recommend WordMint for the word search generator. And I'll just quickly show you why. Now, if you go onto here, you can put in any new words that you like. So we could put in Amazon and so on. And whilst that will put Amazon into the keyword fine, it doesn't show you a very good solution anywhere. So if I look at and if I look at this picture, it's really dark when it comes out. So that's why I don't like the word search generator. But let me show you the Sudoku generator here. So here we go on the Sudoku generator. You can change the different settings. So let's, for example, do a medium one. And it just randomly creates a brand new puzzle for you. Now, if you want to download that, all we have to do is go and press download. We open the file. We press right click on our mouse, we copy that, and we put it directly into our puzzle book. So we can right click and paste. There we are, that's that puzzle. That's how simple that is. Now, if we want to go back and we want to solve the puzzle for the answers, and then again, we press download, we open that file, right click on our mouse to bring up this little bar, copy it, and put it directly into our word template. So there we are, that is how easy that is for a Sudoku generator. And this is completely free to use and I haven't found anything to say that it cannot be used commercially. In fact, on here, they've got an awful lot of Amazon KDP royalty calculators, for example. So it's really well designed for Amazon KDP. The other part of this website that I really want to show you is this one, the Nonogram Generator. If you haven't seen this kind of puzzle before, they are extremely popular in the puzzle book niche. Now this generator is very simple to use. If you click onto this grayed out sort of bar at the top here, just click on that. That will bring up a lot of files that you might have on your computer. I'm just gonna use this one. Um, it's a tractor that I got from Vecteezy. It's one of the free ones. So thank you very much, Vecteezy. We're just going to double click on that. And that will create a nonogram. Now that looks a bit, little bit odd, doesn't it? But if we increase our pixel size and increase our width, you'll see that picture is starting to look more like a tractor. Again, there we are looking much better. So we can make the height and the width different and we can make the pixel size different. So if we want it more basic, we'd have the higher pixels. If we want it more detailed, we'd go with lower pixels. There we are. Doesn't that look nice? Now that is the solution image. And here you can see it says solution. If we just want the puzzle itself, which will remove that image, and then we can download this. So we've downloaded that, and that will show us the actual puzzle. That's what we put on the question pages. And then if we want to have the answer on there, again, we show solution and we download that. And again, all you have to do is copy that and put it straight into your book. Now, yes, that does look a little bit odd, but we can always resize it down a bit. There we are. So that would be your solution. Nonograms are really popular and you can put any image in there that you like and create as many different nonogram puzzles as you want to with this completely free program. The other good thing that this particular program is really good for is this random words and clue generators. So if you're making a crossword and you're not quite sure what words to use, this is a quite an easy thing to look at. And you can just keep refreshing this and it will come up with different words and different clues for you. So you can just copy and paste those into your crossword question and answers onto WordMint. So there we have three different methods of creating puzzles 
for your KDP books. So Creative Fabrica being one of them, don't forget to take them up on their offer of the free downloads. Then Word Mint being another really useful one, lots of different options there with the completely commercial use allowed. And then this one, the IamToolbox.com. Have a little explore on this. This might have some real good gems on it. I have only explored it really for the nonogram generator and the random words and clues and the Sudoku generator. Again, I wouldn't bother with this word search generator, but there might be some other cool things on here that you might like. Thanks very much for watching.